Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Wednesday, October 21st, 2015, around 4.56 in the afternoon, Bellica, Massachusetts. Mixing sun and clouds today, stuck in the 50s. We got some little rain showers and stuff, which, you know, it wasn't amount to that much. It feels like a late October day. Tomorrow's going to be 70 with chance of rain showers. Some news to report. Vice President Joe Biden is not running for President of the United States in 2016. There was rumors he was going to jump in the race as late as Monday, but he decided against it. Looks like it's Hillary Clinton versus um, Donald Trump for the presidential race of 2016. And the Columbus Blue, Blue Jackets fired Todd Richards as coach, replaced him with John Totorelli. The Blue Jackets are 0-7 to start the season. That's not good at all. Richards signed a contract extension about a year ago, and the Blue Jackets will still have to pay him the remainder of the contract. And that's about it on the news. My second video subject of the day is Week 7 NFL Predictions. We're at Week 7 of the NFL season. And here are the 14 games for Week 7 of the NFL. Here's my predictions. Having a bye this week, Chicago Bears, Cincinnati Bengals, Denver Broncos, and Green Bay Packers. So three out of the five undefeated teams left in the NFL will not be playing this week. So, so... So they have it off. And here's what's on the tap. Thursday on the NFL Network and CBS called by Jim Nance and Phil Sims and Tracy Wilson. It's Seattle Seahawks against the San Francisco 49ers. I think the 49ers are going to win this one by the score of 21 to 7. Sunday games. The 9.30 game in the morning from London, England. Buffalo Bills against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This game is going to be streamed live on Yahoo. It's not going to be on CBS, and, except for the local CBS affiliates in Buffalo and Jacksonville. This game will not be shown nationwide. It's only going to be shown on Yahoo. And I predict the Jaguars will win this game in the battlefield goal 12-9. The next game, 1 p.m. games, Tampa Bay versus Washington. I'm picking Tampa Bay to win this one by the score of 14 to 10. Atlanta Falcons against the Tennessee Titans. I'm picking the Falcons to win this one by the score of 35 to 7. The next game is New Orleans Saints versus the uh, Indianapolis Colts. I think the Col Colts are going to win this one by the score of 20 to 10. The next game, Minnesota Vikings against Detroit Lions. Minnesota's gonna crush the Lions by a score of 40 to 10. The next game is Pittsburgh Steelers against the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the um, Pittsburgh Steelers are gonna win this one by the score of 28 to 14. The next game is Cleveland Browns against the St. Louis Rams. I think the Rams are going to win a barn burner 17-14. The next game is the Houston Texans against the Miami Dolphins. I think the Miami Dolphins are going to win this game 32 to 25. The next game is the New York Jets against the New England Patriots. On CBS, called by a Iron Eagle and Dan Fouts. I think the Patriots will continue to go undefeated. I think they're going to beat the Jets. It's going to be a it's going to be a bloodbath. I think, but they're going to win 35 to 28. The next game at 405, Oakland Raiders against Sa Sa um, San Diego Chargers. Oakland's going to win this one by a score a battle field goal. To um, 18 to 15. The 425 game on Fox. Dallas Cowboys against the New York Football Giants. I think the Dallas Cowboys are going to win this one by the score of 20 to 7. The Sunday night game on NBC, called by Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, and Bob Costas. It's the Philadelphia Eagles against the Carolina Panthers. Carolinas going to win this one and continue to go undefeated. I think they'll win it 28 to 25. In the Monday night game on ESPN, Baltimore 
Ravens against the Arizona Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are going to win this one by the score of 27-17. That's about it on these this, the predictions for this week's in the NFL. Hope you enjoyed them. Third and final video blog of my coming up. It will be about former Major League Baseball player Bill Buckner. Like I always say, keep calm. And I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly was a blood fox to the five rocks oxen. has nice legs. Amy Swensey of Wish 2 oxen has nice legs. Um, a little bit hot. It's so, so stunning. It has nice legs. They are four cute plants from Orlando, Florida. And this, they great personalities. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Shockey, former principal of Bellwick Memorial High School, this action will not be tolerated at BMHS. See you later tonight.